June DeMaine is purchasing some gluten-free bread, something she just started doing only a year ago after spending most of her life feeling sick and not knowing why. I lost a lot of weight and I lost my energy. I lost my... I just felt as if I was fading. After many doctor's appointments, Demaine was finally tested for celiac disease, which is an intolerant to gluten protein found in wheat and other related grains. If eaten, the reaction is inflammation in the lining of the small intestine, something that can cause a person to feel very sick. Sick for years and years and years. And um, finally I got in to see a, a gastroenterologist and uh, I was diagnosed right away. Both stories aren't uncommon. Pediatric gastroenterologist Dr. Kevin Back says he's noticed a rise in the amount of clients being diagnosed with celiac disease. I have been surprised at how many people are being diagnosed. I mean, I typically diagnose probably five to seven people a month. But Bax says, unfortunately, many people live their lives without knowing they have the disease, and over time, it can cause some serious medical issues. So you're constantly training up new inflammatory cells from your bone marrow, and so when you do that, you're at increased risk. Uh, I think the latest data says eight to nine fold increased risk of lymphoma. That's why a strict gluten-free diet is key, so when a new gluten-free bakery opens up, celiacs get excited. You feel emotionally, you know, they almost cry in front of you that they haven't eaten for a long time and much bread or they've given up. So it, it, it's, it's very satisfying. A Windsor-based company, Healthy Creations, has opened a gluten-free bakery in London and is already having a hard time keeping up with demand. The bakery's been open for just over a month now and already there's plans to purchase more ovens and double production. For those like Demain and Newall, being able to enjoy a slice of bread just like everyone else now means that much more. I just, I have a new life. I feel like I have a new life. Celine Moreau, A News.